CATV is proudly presented by Toyota. Well, thanks again for all your questions on Askbook through Twitter, once again, through cricket.com.au and Cricket Australia and CATV. Look, the first one from Daniel Gibson. Good question. Ask Buff, is B Ian Bella bunny against leg spinners? Any thoughts of using Smithy straight away? Well, there will be, I'm sure, because it, uh, young Stephen Smith bowled very well at Lords and bowled a beautiful delivery to get him out. So that's a, that's a good point, Daniel. But I think the quicks, if they get in the right area, can and do the damage, especially here at the Gabba. Christopher Till asks, um, with, ex with storms expected over five days, is there any change to our plans? Well, we can't control the weather, Christopher. We we'd love to. We'd be millionaires if we could. Um, but yeah, we we'll take advice from Kevin Mitchell and get it the weather report. But it's an important, obviously, five days and we've got to start well. Sean Bailey has a good one. Can at least one test be played under the tip and run rule? Well, if I did that, I would have been run out all the time, Sean. But we're always looking to score as many as we can, and if we get some opportunities to take singles, yes, we'll be doing it. Lachlan Rose, Cook has gone unnoticed through an average after an average home series. Are the plan, what are plans to keep him quiet like this series? Well, we're not going to change too much, but having said that, obviously his quicker bounce here at the Gabba and Perth um, will bowl very similar. But having said that, I'm sure he's changed his plan, so we might have to adapt to the situation a little bit. David Lawrence writes, was Pat Cummings actually the ghost in the window in Three Men and a Baby? Well, P David, that is one of the funniest questions. I'll be passing that one on to Pat Cummings for sure. He probably was, you know, he's that young. Andrew Hoyne, um, Darren Lehman will be seeing Jackson Bird playing in the Ashes Test Series this year. Jackson's injured at the moment. Um, he's in rehab mode. He's back bowling. That's great news for Jackson, great news for Australian cricket. So hopefully he plays some first-class cricket very soon. Matt Crawford, what do you think about pineapple on your pizza? A must. You must have it. Ham, pineapple, mushroom. I love anchovies, but pineapple's a must. Nothing wrong with that. Darren James, are we better or worse off in the long run with all these similar bowlings going down? Well, the big thing for me, Darren, is they're all under 25, so we know we're going to have some issues there. But once they get past that age, 24, 25, they'll play a long period. They're all very good bowlers and they have a lot of potential. I know potential is a word we don't use too often. What I want to use is once they're fit and firing, they've got some potential for us to play and get to the next level with that bowling group. So I expect them to have long careers with Australia over a long period of time. And last but not least, Sean Bailey. Which international cricket venue has the best pies? What a great question. Well. I'd have to say Adelaide Oval. I had plenty of pies in my time as a player. I'm looking forward to getting back and having more pies as a coach because you can do that. You can sit back and watch the cricket and have a pie. Why wouldn't you? Now, thanks for all your questions again for Ask Buff on Twitter. Please send them through once again. I'm looking forward to the next instalment of Ask Buff.